in the smart contract world, what you do is you basically copy another smart contract, paste it into your editor, yeah. change it, and then upload all of the same code that you just downloaded or just, you know, pulled down from the uh, blockchain. Yeah. So you just keep duplicating this, and depending on how big the smart contract is, it's a lot of data, right? And you keep putting this up there and putting this up there. Well, there's two issues with that. First of all, that you keep repeating the same data that you don't need to, right? Mm -hmm. it's, instead of, it's kind of like writing the Word application every time you want to write a Word document, right? I don't, it, it, it doesn't make sense. So the second thing is if there is a bug in that smart contract that you copied and you pasted that and put it up, there's no way for that smart contract to tell you, hey, I just discovered a bug. You better go in and change and fix your smart contract. Yeah, true. Um, where uh, it just keeps. And then if there's 10,000 instances where that smart contract was copied, there's 10,000 instances of that bug that nobody will ever be alerted to until basically it, it happens to them. Right. Until the bug uh, affects them. So that's uh, how a smart contract works. The other problem with smart contract is it is serialized. Hmm. I cannot move a smart contract from one shard to another shard on a blockchain. Hmm. So that means that all accounts have to be on the same shard. Uh, and that means that that smart contract is then serialized to that shard and it can and the, the entire blockchain will only go as fast as the slowest shard. Hmm. Um, it, it's it's difficult because it's serialized. Each smart contract only goes one at a time. We compare this to what used to be the operating system of the world, MS DOS. Mm -hmm. uh, MS DOS was Microsoft's operating system before Windows, and it was a it was a command line based operating system. It ran one program at a time, just like a smart contract. It is MS-DOS. You can run one smart contract at a time. You cannot do parallel. Even on layer two, although it's technically feasible to use layer two, it's still very inefficient and very insecure. You don't know if you're dealing with a sharded a fork of the shard on the other side when you're trying to move this contract from one to another. That's just one instance True. of an issue that's in it. True. Guys, for the latest news and updates, be sure to follow our social media, including Twitter, Facebook, Telegram groups, and TikTok. There you go. Follow us. Links down below.